Blessed is our God, always now and ever to the ages of ages. <coughs> Amen. Come, let us worship and fall down before God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our Lord. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself. Our King and our God, bless the Lord, O oh, 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 my soul. Blessed are Thou, O oh, Lord, blessed are Thou, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. 
sea, o'er the sea, for every city and countryside, and for the faithful dwelling in them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the seasonable web and abundance of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful times. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick, the suffering, for captives and their salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorate your most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious lady, the birth giver of God and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another in all our life. To Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. For unto the honor of glory, honor and worship to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. <laughs> Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked. Alleluia, alleluia. But the way of the wicked will perish. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice in Him with trembling. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are all who take refuge in Him. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Salvation belongs to the Lord, thy blessing be upon thy people. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to Thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to Thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to Thee, O God. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remember, and most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious lady, the birth giver of God, and ever virgin Mary, together with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves to one another in all our lives. To Christ our God. Thine is the might, and thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, I have cried unto thee, hearken unto me. Hearken unto me, O Lord. Lord, I have cried unto thee, hearken unto me. Give heed to the voice of my supplication, when I cry unto thee, hearken unto me, O Lord. Let my prayer arise, 
as incense before thee, the lifting up of my hands, the an evening sacrifice, hearken unto me, O Lord. Set a guard, O Lord, over my mouth, and a door of enclosure and protection around my lips. Do not incline my heart to evil words to make excuses for sins. With men who practice lawlessness, not even with their chosen ones will I be joined. A just man will correct and rebuke me with mercy, but may the oil of a sinner never anoint my head. Because again and again my prayer is against their pleasures. Their judges and kings drown holding rocks. They will hear my words for they are sweet. As a clod of earth is crushed on the ground, our bones have been scattered beside the grave. For my eyes look to you, O Lord, O Lord, in you I trust. Do not take away my life. Keep me from the trap they have set for me and from the snare of the, the evildoers. Sinners will fall into their own net. I am alone until I pass on. I cry to the Lord with my voice. I pray with my voice to the Lord. <clears throat> I will pour out before him my prayer. I will tell my trouble before him. When my spirit departs from me, you know my paths. In this way I thought I was going, they hit a trap for me. I look to the right hand and watch, but there is no one who knows me. Escape is cut off from me, but there is no one seeking my life. I cried to you, O Lord, and said, You are my hope. You are my portion in the land of the living. Attend to my prayer, for I have been brought very low. Deliver me from those who are persecuting me, because they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may give thanks to thy name. Thanks, sir, for even prayers, O holy Lord, grant us remission of sins. For thou alone hast manifested the resurrection to the world. The righteous will surround me, for thou wilt deal bountifully with me. And so her cool Zion and surround her, O people. Give glory in her to the one who rose from the dead. For he is our God, who has delivered us from our transgressions. Out of the depths I cry to thee, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Come, O people, let us him and fall down before Christ, glorifying his resurrection from the dead. For he is our God, who has delivered the world. From the enemy's deceit. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. We glad, O heavens, sound trumpets, O foundations of the earth, singing gladness, O mountains. Behold, Emmanuel has nailed our sins to the cross, granting life, he has slain death. He has resurrected Adam as the lover of man. If thou, O Lord, shouldst mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand but there is forgiveness with thee? Go on, let us praise the saints of North America, holy hierarchs, venerable monastics, and glorious martyrs, pious men, women, and children, both known and unknown, through their words and deeds and various walks of life. By the grace of the Spirit they achieve true holiness. Now, as they stand in the presence of Christ who glorified them, they pray for us who celebrate their memory with love. For thy name's sake have I waited for thee, O Lord. My soul has waited for thy word. My soul has hoped on the Lord. Come, let us assemble today and glorify the luminaries of the holy North American lands the glorious martyrs and holy bishops who confirmed our faith, the righteous dwellers in the wilderness and the guides of the spiritual life. Let us cry out to them in joy, all saints of North America, known and unknown, pray to God for us. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, let Israel hope on the Lord. As the brightest star, <coughs> As the brilliance of the morning star, the precious feast of the saints of North America has dawned for us to illumine us and to set our hearts on fire, to imitate their godly lives and to follow their example as you for God. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. Come, let us assemble today. Let us praise the elect of North America. Having fought the good fight, ye have persevered in the faith, receiving your crowns of victory from God. 
beseech him to deliver from every calamity and sorrow, oh, and keep your holy memory in faith and love. Praise the Lord, all nations. Praise him, all peoples. The earth rejoices and the heavens are glad, all oh, venerable saints of America, raising your labors and lives, your spiritual fortitude and purity of heart, by driving away a multitude of demons, and enlightening many people with the light of the Orthodox faith, he have confirmed our hands. For his mercy is abundant towards us, and the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Rejoice, O mountains of Pennsylvania, leap for joy, O waters of the Great Lakes, rise up, O fertile plains of Canada. For the elect of Christ who dwells in you are glorified, men and women who left their homes for our new land, with faith, hope, and patience as their armor, they courageously fought the good fight, comforted by the beauty of the Orthodox faith. They labored in mines and mills, they tilled the land. They braved the challenges of the great cities, enduring many hardships and sufferings, never failing to worship God in spirit and truth, and then yielding them in devotion to his most pure mother. They erected many temples to his glory, come, O assembly of the Orthodox, and with love let us praise the holy men, women, and children, those known to us and those known only to God, and let us cry out to them, Rejoice, all saints of North America, and pray to God for us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Rejoice, O continent of North America, illumined by the Holy Gospel. Rejoice, every province, state, city, and town, which raised up citizens of the heavenly kingdom. Rejoice, our venerable Father, Herman, first saint of our land. Rejoice, O martyrs, juvenile, and Peter, for your blood has watered the seed of faith planted in Alaska. Rejoice, O holy hierarchs, innocent Tika, Nicholas, Raphael, and John. Rejoice, O holy fathers, Alexis, John, and all ye righteous priests. Rejoice, all saints of North America, for your light has shone forth to the ends of the earth. We beseech you to pray to Christ our God, that our souls may be saved. Now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. Let us praise the Virgin Mary, the gate of heaven, the glory of the world, the song of the angels, the beauty of the faithful. <laughs> she was born of man, yet gave birth to God. She was revealed as the heaven, as the temple of the Godhead. She destroyed the wall of enmity. She commands the peace, she opened the kingdom. Since she is the foundation of our faith, our defender is the Lord whom she bore. Courage, courage, O people of God, for Christ will destroy our enemies, since he is all-powerful. Wisdom, let us be attentive. <clears throat> o glad light of the holy glory, of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ. Now that we have come to the setting of the sun, and behold the light of the evening, we praise God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. For me it is at all times to worship Thee with voices of praise, O Son of God and Giver of life. Therefore, all the world of And peace be unto all. And with your spirit. Wisdom, the Prokemenon, and the Sixth Toe, the Lord is King. 
is robed in majesty. <coughs> the Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed with strength and hath girded himself. The Let all the nations be gathered together, and let the people be assembled, who among them can declare this, and show us former things. Let them bring out their witnesses, that they may be justified. Or let them hear and say, It is truth, you are my witnesses, says the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that you may know and believe me, and understand that I am he. Before me there is no God formed, nor shall there be after me. I, even I, am the Lord, and besides me there is no Savior. I have declared and saved, I have proclaimed, and there was no foreign God among you. Therefore you are my witnesses, says the Lord, that I am God. Indeed, before the day was, I am he, and there is no one who can deliver out of my hand. I work, and who will reverse it? Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. For, you, for your sake I will send to Babylon and bring them all down as fugitives, the Chaldeans who rejoice in their ships. Wisdom. The reading is from the wisdom of Solomon. Let us be attentive. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and no torment will ever touch them. In the eyes of the foolish they seem to have died, and their departure was thought to be a disaster, and their going from us to, to be their destruction, but they are at peace. For though in the sight of others they were punished, their hope is full of immortality. Having been disciplined a little, they will receive great good, because God tested them and found them worthy of himself. Like gold in the furnace he tried them. And like a sacrificial burnt offering, he accepted them. In the time of their visitation, they will shine forth and will run like sparks through the stubble. They will govern nations and rule over people, and the Lord will reign over them forever. Those who trust in him will understand the truth, and the faithful will abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are upon his holy ones. And he watches <laughs> over his elect wisdom. The reading is from the Book of Wisdom. Let us be attentive. But the righteous live forever, and their reward is with the Lord. The Most High takes care of them. Therefore they will receive a glorious crown and a beautiful diadem from the hand of the Lord. Because with his right hand he will cover them, and with his arm he will shield them. The Lord will take his zeal as his whole armor, and will arm all creation to repel his enemies. He will put on righteousness as a breastplate, and wear impartial justice as a helmet. He will take holiness as an invincible shield and sharpen stern wrath for a sword. And creation will join with him to fight against his frenzied foes. Shafts of lightning will fly with true aim and will leap from the clouds to the target as from a well-drawn bow. And hailstones full of wrath will be hurled as from a catapult. The water of the sea will rage against them and the rivers will relentlessly overwhelm them. A mighty wind will rise against them and like a tempest it will winnow them away. Lawlessness will lay waste the whole earth and evil doing will overturn the thrones of rulers. Listen, therefore, O kings, and understand. Learn, O judges of the ends of the earth. Give ear, you that rule over multitudes and boast of many nations. For your dominion was given you from the Lord, and your sovereignty from the Most High God. He will search out your works and inquire into your plans. 
Let us all say with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, Almighty God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy, O God, according to thy great goodness, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our much and his eminence, and Tony, for Archbishop his eminence, Daniel, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our God-loving and God-protected country, the United States of America, for its president, for all civil authorities, for the armed forces everywhere, for all its people, for our God-loving and God-protected ancestral homeland, Ukraine and all our ancestral homelands, and for all their people. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever-memorable Holy Orthodox Patriarchs, and we have a blessed and ever blessed and ever-memorable founders of this holy temple, and for all our fathers and brethren, the Orthodox, who part of the sight before us, who are here in all the world. Lie asleep in the Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation. For the service of God, our fathers, grandfathers, spiritual fathers, the brethren of this holy temple, and for all, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings into good works in this holy and available temple, those who serve and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await your great and abundant mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. O loud and merciful God, and unto thee we send up glory. O loud and merciful God, and love us mankind, and unto thee we send up glory. To the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and to the ages of ages. Grant, O Lord, to keep us this evening without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name forever. Amen. Let your mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Master, make me to understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your precepts. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the works of your hands. To you belongs worship, to you belongs praise, to you belongs glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the holy evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. this, O Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and good defense before the grand judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask. this, O Lord. Come, memorating your most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious lady, the birth giver of God and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in all our life. To Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. For thou art a good God and lovest mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory. To the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all of you. And with thy spirit. By your hands to the Lord. To Glorify be the might of thy kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. We have been free from sufferings, by thy suffering, O Christ. We have been delivered from corruption, 
by the resurrection. O Lord, glory to thee. The Lord is King, he is robed in majesty. Let creation rejoice, let the heavens be glad, let the nations cut their hands with gladness. For Christ our Savior has nailed our sins to the cross, slain the earth, he has given life. He has resurrected fallen Adam as the lover of man. For he has established the world so that it shall never be moved. He is king of heaven and earth. Thou was voluntarily crucified in thy love for man. Hell was angered when it met thee below. Adam rose seeing thee the creator under the earth. O wonder, how has the life of all tasted death? Thou didst enlighten the world which cries. O Lord, who didst rise from the dead, glory to thee. Holiness befitted thy house, O Lord, forevermore. And the her bearing women came with haste to thy tomb, bearing myrrh and lamenting, not finding thy most pure body. They learned from the angel of the new and glorious wonder. They told the apostles, the Lord is risen, granting the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Today as we celebrate the memory of all the saints of North America, let us praise them as is fitting, for they lived all of Christ's beatitudes. Deprived of material <coughs> wealth, they became rich in spirit. Meek, they inherited the earth. Morning they were comforted. Thirsting for righteousness, they were satisfied. Merciful, they obtained mercy. Pure in heart, they beheld the image of God. As peacemakers, they became God's children. Persecuted and tortured for righteousness' sake, they now rejoice in heaven, and they pray fervently to the Lord that he may have mercy on our souls. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. Let us sound a hymn on the trumpet, and praise with one accord the protectress of our land, our queen, the Theotokos. Rejoice, for thou hast crowned our land with thy favor, pouring abundant grace upon it. Therefore the church in America joyously celebrates thy precious protection, <coughs> and commemorates the multitude of thy miracles, and now deprive us not of thy mercies, O Lady. Look with favor upon us in our adversities and afflictions, and raise us up by thy powerful intercession. <laughs> Lord, now that is thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word, according to Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> when the stone had been sealed by the Jews, while the soldiers were guarding thy most pure body, thou didst rise on the third day, O Savior, granting life to the world. The powers of heaven therefore cry to thee, O giver of life. Glory to thy resurrection, correction, O Christ. Glory to thy kingdom, glory to thy dispensation, O thou who lovest mankind. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As the bountiful harvest of thy sowing of salvation, the lands of North America offer to thee, O Lord, all the saints who have, show, have shown in them. By their prayers keep the church and our land in abiding peace. Through the Theotokos, O most merciful one. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages, Amen. For our sake thou wast born of a virgin. And is in dark crucifixion, O good one, destroying death by death. Revealing the resurrection, this God, do not despise the work of thy hands. Reveal thy love for man, O merciful one, and accept the Theotokos praying for us. And save the despairing people, O our Savior. Wisdom. Father, to you is Christ, our true God, always, now, and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Confirm, O God, the holy Orthodox faith and the Orthodox Christians unto ages of ages. Amen. Most holy Theotokos, save all. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption you gave birth to God the Word. Truth, Theotokos, we magnify thee. Glory to you, O Christ, our God, and our whole glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Father, May he who rose from the dead, Christ, our true God, through the prayers of the most pure and holy Mother, of the holy, glorious, and laudable apostles of St. Andrew, the first called founder of Christ's Holy Church in Ukraine, of St. Cyril, the third, the apostles, teachers of the Slavs, patrons of this holy church, of all saints of North America, whose memory, memories we celebrate this day, of the holy, righteous ancestors of God, Joachim, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. For as much as he is good and loves mankind. Amen. Sit for just a minute and take a chair, take, take a section of the floor, whatever works best for you. I, I took my service book and I, I, I flipped to the end where I have a, where we have a little small things, and I realized that I, I have to serve Vespers here on a Saturday night since February because that was. It was open to the best was marked. So it's been a long time. Uh, in, in, in the great litany we, that we hear at Vespers and Matins, and then again at Divine Liturgy, one of the things we pray for is, is the, the unity of all, the unity of all mankind, the unity of all humanity. And, and that, that, in the context of the prayer, that flows out of the unity of the church as sort of a, uh, you might say, a fruit of the koinonia, of the communion that we who are in Christ have with one another. You know, if, if you're paying attention to the news, if you're walking on State Street, one of the things that's abundantly clear is that is that we don't have that unity at the moment. Um, 
And in the world, of course, that unity is only always more or less, usually less uh, than more. But but it seems today that that, that unity, we, we're all of us feeling that lack of unity very keenly. And one of the things I, I notice when I, when I talk to people, and I, I talk to lots of people from different backgrounds and things, is that, is that everybody is angry and everybody is afraid. And, but everybody also wants to get to the other side of, of, of all the disagreements, all the dissension, all the arguments. And, and, and sort of the irony of that is that everybody wants to get to the other side of it in exactly the same way, which is making other people do the right thing. And to do the right thing according to their own estimations. So if we only do this, one side says we'll be fine, and the other side says, well, no, if we do this, it's going to be awful. We have to do that. And, and we, we argue back and forth. We agree. We, we need to get past the division. And, 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 of course, the best way to get past the division, we, we think, is to impose some peace on the people who disagree with us. In the life of the church, this is not what unity looks like. Unity is not a matter of imposing a structure or a, a series of laws or procedures on humanity. God doesn't create unity by imposing himself upon us. He does something altogether different. He helps us flourish and flower. I know that I'm working for the unity of humanity when I, I value and appreciate and am grateful for that which is unique in each person that I know. In each person that I know. The model, the way that we're trying to do it now, runs in opposite direction of valuing the uniqueness of the person. That model, whether from the left or from the right, whether secular or religious, is all about trying to impose, about trying to, to do away with what is unique in the person, with trying to, to level or to fill in our differences. And that way of doing things is inherently violent. The way that God proposes for unity is to call each of us by name. And he says to us, look with my love on one another and see what is unique, what is irrepeatable in the person with whom you are speaking. It's very different. If we take up that way, of fostering unity. And let me rephrase that. If we do this, which is the only way to foster unity, then the question becomes not how do I put someone in a slot, but what is the next step that they need to take to become, to come closer to God, to become at least marginally somewhat more the person that God has created them. Because I spend a lot of time in the world of public policy, um, I immediately know that that's a ridiculous idea. I can hear all of my friends saying, well, you can't have laws like that. No, you can't. <laughs> you really can't. Because unity doesn't come as a matter of law. It comes as a matter of holiness, of charity. You see, the only way that I can help you become more fully who God has created you to be. The only way I can see that which is, and see and, and, and value and appreciate that which is irrepeatable in you is if I am committed personally to growing in holiness, to become more like Jesus Christ. So, in order to be of any value for the unity of the whole world, I have to be taking those small incremental steps towards Jesus Christ, laying aside.
aside my sin as I discover it, and taking on those good things that I am in the moment able to do. Like I said, we pray for the unity of the whole world. But that only comes through our personal repentance, through our personal commitment to grow in charity, to grow in holiness. Laws, policies, they all have their place to be sure. But they're not going to give us the unity that we want. The great joy of doing the work that God has called us to do is this. You don't have to do what I do. I don't have to do what you do. You can do nothing that I do. And that can be just as God-pleasing as what I do. I don't have to imitate you. You don't have to imitate me. But we have to imitate Jesus Christ together. You see how that's different? It's a very different way to live. And to the degree that the world does not live this way, it won't have peace. It will just have varying degrees of violence. It just looks unfortunate. But it's this that Christ has come to save us from, and it is this other way of life to which we as Orthodox Christians have been called to bear witness. So um, we'll have, I'll hear confessions if you want to go to confession uh, after Vespers. Uh, liturgy tomorrow. Um, you'll see we have these little squares on the floor. They're roughly six feet uh, square. Six feet on the side. Um, that's to give us all a general idea of where to stand relative to, to one another. So um, but, uh, we're, we're going to try to figure it out in the next couple of weeks. And that's, there's, there's just another way to do it. Uh, as I told people before liturgy, or before Vespers, all of the regulations that have come from the CDC and the county basically assume uh, rows of chairs or pews. Um, they just assume we're sitting. We're not. So we'll, we'll work it out. Uh, tomorrow morning we'll have hours at 9.15 if someone wants to show up to help that would be swell. And then liturgy at uh, half past nine and we're still not venerating the cross. So, um, oh, and tomorrow we have coffee hour. Is that correct? Yeah. We are going to test drive the coffee maker right after. That's right. We have... <laughs> We have a professional coffee maker sitting in our kitchen. I am going to be a guinea pig. All right. If it's horrible, I will. That's not going to be horrible. And we have three three liter air pops. So we are talking a huge amount of coffee. I can't make all of it. No. Not today. All right. So I'll see everyone in the morning.